Police revealed last week that the attack on Saitam CEO Samira Senaratna had been staged. This bogus shooting has turned the Saitam issue on its head. Find out why on News Matters. Saitam CEO Samira Senaratna has suddenly found himself the Sinoja of all eyes. It was just a few weeks ago that the Janathavi Mukti Paramuna at a press conference revealed that Senaratna had failed to complete his medical degree. The JVP said, therefore, that Senaratna had no right to call himself a doctor. Senaratna did not respond to the JVP statement and it could mean he tacitly admitted to the allegation. But here's how the bogus shooting has turned the Saitam controversy on its head. The main allegation against Saitam is its standards. The Sri Lanka Medical Council, the Government Medical Officers Association and many other parties have at various times alleged that the medical degree awarded by Saitam did not meet standards. All Saitam had to do was to improve its standards to meet the expectations of health authorities and all other stakeholders. The public at large was in support of private medical education, but they had questions about the standard of Saitam. Public sympathy up until now was with Saitam to a great degree and not with the university students whose protests took up much of the street or with the GMOA which left patients in the lurch. The revelations that the Saitam CEO staged the attack on himself has turned public sympathy on its head. <laughs> Staging an attempt on his life in order to gain public sympathy shows clearly that Saitam as an organization is not interested in working to improve its standards. It also shows us that it has no qualms about resorting to devious acts to win the battle with the GMOA and other bodies. The sight of CEO's devious actions and the fact that he showed no compunction at the thought of milking the public's sympathy and wasting law enforcement authorities' time and money only goes to show that he would have no compunction to handing out dud degrees. What is in short supply on the part of Saitam at the moment is professionalism. Samira Senaratna's lack of professionalism raises very serious questions about the ethics and standards of Saitam. Can an institution like this train doctors and offer medical degrees? This remains a very serious question. Therefore, it is high time the government answers this question and takes necessary action on Saitam. Dr. Samira Senaratna, who was hailed like a hero for escaping the attempt on his life, will now go down in history as the CEO who hit the final nail of the company's coffin. Join us for another segment of News Matters on Tuesday. I am Royal Raymond. Get the Daily News app free on your mobile phone. Visit apps.lakehouse.lk and download today. Daily News. Be better informed.